Hi everyone, I'm Hunter Vargo, a mushroom farmer, if you can't already tell from my cool shirt. And today we're going to be putting ChatGPT, a artificial intelligence software, to the test and finding out if it can handle mushroom cultivation questions. I assume if it's able to answer these questions, it'll be able to answer any questions for any farmer in any sort of space. Alrighty, here we have it, ChatGPT optimized language models for dialogue. And it'll give you a little text here, you can read it all in some samples but click this button to enter the AI. This is the third time I tried to record this video, and if I can't get it to get in, I'm going to be very- Come on, load. Boom, we're in. All right, Chad GPT. Here's light, you have light mode, dark mode, but that's really not important. Let's ask it a very broad question. How to grow mushrooms. There are several ways to grow mushrooms, including using mushroom spores or spawn, growing them indoors or outdoors, and using a variety of substrates such as straw, sawdust, or compost. Here is a basic overview of the process. That's definitely true. Yeah, just giving you a bunch of points on, a, on an overview of how to grow mushrooms, so that's true. Uh, not crazy helpful, but we're going to get more in depth and really see how much this AI can. Let's see what we can pull from this. So they're talking about substrates here. Let's ask it what substrates you can use. Mushrooms can be grown on a variety of substrates, including sawdust, straw, compost, coffee grounds, hardwood logs, absolutely. Cardboard, yep. Manure, yep. Yep, yep. Depending on what species you want to grow. And we're going to see if we can ask it. It even says uh, particular oyster mushrooms here for coffee grounds. We're going to ask it, actually. Uh, let's, give it a, let's give it a good one. Let's give it a good one. What is... This is going to get really niche, but let's see what is the best substrate for growing shiitake mushrooms. The best substrate for growing shiitake mushrooms is hardwood logs. Shiitake mushrooms are a type of log-loving mushroom, which means that they naturally grow on hardwood trees in the wild. This makes hardwood logs most suitable and natural substrate for cultivating shiitake mushrooms. It's really doing its work here. Yeah, you gotta wait a while for shiitakes to grow if you're gonna use the log method. Um, as far as the best method, if you don't have a lot of equipment, yeah, probably just go ahead and inoculate those logs and listen to ChatGPT. Um, but this is gonna, this is really useful because it's gonna give you an idea of what you can at least start with doing, or at least understand how the process works simply. And that's really what it's giving you here. It's good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. It's, uh, probably not the most effective, efficient way to grow mushrooms if you have the equipment to grow mushrooms, but it's probably the easiest thing to do is inoculate them and wait. So it's a good answer. It's a great answer. It's a niche it's a niche topic, and it uh, definitely handled it well. Let's ask it a uh, even more niche question. What is spawn in mushroom? Actually, let's just see if it knows what sp just spawn is. One is a small piece of mushroom tissue that has been inoculated with mushroom spores. It is used to propagate mushroom mycelium, which is a vegetative part of the fungus that consists of a mass of branching thread-like hyphae. Spawn can be purchased from commercial mushroom growers and spawn suppliers. All right, there are two different main types of spawn. You have grain spawn and sawdust spawn. Absolutely, this is a great answer, and it gives you even more. I'm not gonna read it all, this is no point. Um, you can do this yourself. The software is free as of now, so use it up. But uh, yeah, this is a great answer. This is a really good answer. And I wish I had this when I was starting out. This is really nice. You don't have to scour the internet so much for all this information. You could simply just type it in here and spit it out. It's it's really fantastic. And uh, I would be using it much for much more other things than just mushrooms, as I have been these last couple of weeks as it's been out. Yeah, great answer, ChatGPT. That's another one for you. Let's see if it knows what Master Mix substrate is. That's pretty niche. Let's see. Master Mix is a substrate mixture used for mushroom cultivation, particularly for for growing gourmet mushrooms such as shiitake, oysters, lion's mane, and other species. It is a blend of different ingredients that provides the necessary nutrients and environmental conditions for mushrooms. Uh, let's see, yeah, the exact ingredients for master's mix can vary depending on the mushroom species being grown and the preference of grower, but in general contains a combination of the following, sterilized sawdust, bran, gypsum, lime, uh, vermiculite, Generally, I think the master's mix in mushroom cultivation is referred to a mixture of half soy hull, half hardwood sawdust substrate uh, inside these blocks. And the reason why we use that sort of substrate is because it yields a lot of mushrooms. Uh, not a bad answer. I mean, it's not what I was looking for. 
So chat GPT, I'm not going to give any points for that. But so far, the other two answers that we got were very, very good. Next question. Let's see. What is liquid culture for? Uh, we'll just live it a mushroom. I don't want to get. I really want to see if it just gets the gist of the mushroom topic and stays on it, which it seems to be doing. Liquid culture is a method of mushroom cultivation that involves growing mushrooms <clears throat> or growing mushroom mycelium in liquid medium. Yeah. So just water, nutrient rich, and a nutrient rich solution. Perfect. That's literally what I was looking for. It's giving me even more data, but I don't really know what to ask it. Let's ask it to make more questions for me. What are frequently asked mushroom cult mushroom? Yep. All right. These are good questions. What are the best conditions for growing mushrooms? Types of substrate should I use for growing mushrooms? Yeah, these are all good. And I'm assuming I could just literally take one and just plop it right in. It's giving us a lot of stuff. Yeah, I assume they all got... Yeah, it's loading. It's lying out. All right, you guys. Well, this is good. I think you get the gist of it. Um, ChatGPT, this is awesome. Great tool. If you have any questions about growing mushrooms, you can ask me or you can ask this thing. Uh, leave a comment down below. Look at these temperatures. Uh, perfect. Spot on. Yeah, this is super useful. I wish I had this back then. Um... But yeah, hope you guys all have a great day. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.